Now, how do we let the consumer of a component pass in values? That's done using attributes. Just like you pass in attributes to an HTML element, like a div class equals, right? That's an attribute that provides a parameter class to the element div. Similarly, you can pass parameters to your custom components in Angular by using those attributes. So for instance, I have a post style here and I'm gonna pass in title and summary. I can do that by doing this, title equals, and then blah, and then summary equals blah. So this is how you would design your component to be used. You pass in these attributes and then uh, given the value that you want, and then the component takes those values. This is what makes the component dynamic to begin with. You can pass in different values and have it render different stuff. Now, what do you have to do to the component to allow something like this to happen, allow this kind of a value to be passed in and for the component to actually render it. In order to do that, you need to tell Angular that you expect these kind of properties to be passed in. When you're creating this component, you need to tell Angular, hey, there is a chance somebody might pass in title to me. There is a chance somebody might pass in summary to me. I wanna accept those as inputs to my component. So the way to do this is to go to the component. Here you have your uh, member variables. If you don't have these, you need to create member variables which accept those values that are passed in. Anytime you accept a value in your component definition, you need to specify a member variable which takes in those values. Here I happen to have the same val uh, names here, title and summary. Now in order to tell Angular that this is something that could be input to the component when it's being used, I use this annotation called at input. And uh, notice I'm using the open close parentheses. This is what you're supposed to use when you're using the at input uh, annotation. Now by annotating this title property with at input, I'm basically telling Angular that I'm okay with somebody using this uh, title as an attribute to my component. And when somebody uses that, I want Angular to pass that in to this member variable so that when this component gets initialized and when I'm looking at this value of the member variable, I can be confident that Angular has done the work and it's taken whatever the user has passed in over here and then assigned it to my member variable. All that happens thanks to this one annotation called input. Similarly, what do I have to do to take in this summary value that somebody has passed in and tell Angular to assign it to my summary member variable? Well, very simple. All I have to do is add input again. And now Angular is going to take whatever property is, whatever attribute is passed in, whatever value this thing is, it's gonna take that and assign it to the summary member variable. Now the value, the name of these properties is exactly the same as the name of these attributes, which is why Angular knows that it needs to take this value, which is in title and assign it to the title member variable. And then this value, which is in summary and assign it to the summary member variable. That's, that's helpful because Angular knows what to assign to what. But if the name is different, all right? So let's say this is, uh, you call it description, then Angular really doesn't know what should populate this. Well, it says, okay, somebody's passing in summary to me, but I don't see input summary anywhere, so it just ignores it. So in order to tell Angular to take the summary attribute and then assign it to the description property, I can pass in this argument to the input annotation. So this is the name of the attribute that I wanted to listen to. Uh, if I don't pass that in, the name of the member variable of the class that I'm annotating with add input is going to be the name of the attribute that it's looking up. So in the case of it having the same name, it's super convenient, which is why I prefer to use the same name so that I don't have to do this. You can still do this, but in this case, it's redundant because if you don't pass in an argument to add input, it's basically just taking the name of this member variable and then looking at the attribute and taking that value and assigning it to this member variable. Now that I've done this, I'm going to save. And then now I can get rid of this hard-coded assignment. I don't need to do this anymore. Instead, I expect these two values to be passed in. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. I'm gonna pass in um, blog one, rather blog post one, and then summary one. Copy this over and provide 
the same attributes to these two instances of the blog post, but I'm going to change the value here. And now each instance is going to get a different value. Now run ng serve. And if I refresh the page, here you see there are three instances. And each time you use this blog post tile component, you can pass in what the title and summary should be. In that way, you have made this component super flexible.